questions. And incidentally, Matt Cole has left the state. They are no, moving to, no, they are no, relocating no. to Wyoming and taking $85 million dollars with them are that they? they were going to give to the state. Wow. They are. Yeah, they haven't and that's yet. unfortunately that's happening all over the country with other uh, gun manufacturers. But as a former cop, you know as well as I do that most magazines can be converted to accommodate for 15 rounds. They can't. They're not designed to be accommodated. But so, they can be. So this essentially is a ban on all magazines. Is that your fear? That no. this is a, is a, is yeah. a, the slippery slope. We've talked about this. This is what gun owners fear. Can I, can I say, that's an incredible admission, Senator, that you just made, mm -hmm. that it's an absolutely arbitrary distinction, arbitrary number that you essentially pulled out of your hat. It is whimsical, it is, it is tyrannical, in fact, to go around making laws based upon arbitrary numbers, arbitrary definitions, assault weapons will be defined how we want to define them, we'll pick the number of bullets you get to have in your magazine. This, the trick is this how and many what you're rounds? doing, though, just to be clear, because we have to factor in the cost when you pick your arbitrary laws. It's our freedoms, it's our rights, it's our constitutionally guaranteed rights that well, actually right. and, defend and it's, this country. It's your rights and my rights. It's my rights not to get shot, and it's your right to have a gun. And that's the balance that we need to do, because it's how many rounds are gonna get cranked out before you have to reload. And the answer you, turned out to be 15. That means we got 15 people shot it turned before. Out to be you have research that suggests the difference between 14 and 15 reduces no, gun violence? No, no. What I have research to suggest is that when you crank out 15 rounds, when we've had these mass shootings, two of which have occurred in Colorado, it's better when you have fewer rounds and you have to reload more frequently. Can I, can I tell you honestly, I feel like in, in, in Van, you can, you can answer this if you want, but if we get to a point of honesty in this debate, it is an actually a, achievable and laudable goal. And when you suggest that picking arbitrary numbers and arbitrary definitions of guns, I feel like you're not being honest about your ultimate goal. If the ultimate goal is to reduce gun violence, is your ultimate goal to do away with guns? No. no. My ultimate goal is to reduce gun violence. And why, a pick, six arbitrary shooter, three, why pick arbitrary but, numbers? But, but, because but we all know that the legislative process is imperfect and messy and and somebody has to figure out what these limits are and, and who we trust to do that is America's government and I and, don't but, well oh, and that and th this this is what's what we, I, I think we have an opportunity to do something kind of special here because we can you know yell and go back and forth I think we're we're in some kind of a uh, of a culture war where we're almost incomprehensible to each other I just want to ask you some questions I know liberals have and just since we all know each other can, and we work here together Fire can, away. Good. <laughs> Why isn't what he's saying perfectly good sense? What is wrong with limiting the number? Here, here I am. I'm, I don't, I'm not a, a gun person. I think to myself, I don't want somebody who's a nut and a lazy, crazy nut to just be able to go get a big old bunch of bullets and fire them at me. If he had fewer bullets, maybe I could get away. What's wrong with that argument? Help me. Because, it, Van, I, I'm at the risk of being repetitive, you've, sure. picked, you've picked a goal, okay? You've identified your goal. You would like to have less gun violence. And, and but, in your words, but, a big crazy guy grabs a bunch of bullets, okay? Exactly. But in order to achieve that goal, you have identified a couple of arbitrary laws you want to put into place. Any law. And you know, you, you somehow feel like a bunch of, and no, no disrespect, a bunch of legislators, a bunch of elected well, officials who do you want to do somehow it? put their heads together you and made a the, scientific you... determination. When I shared with you in our previous blog, the science is in, the facts is in, the facts are in. Okay, gun violence. Is down I'm, I'm really and asking you attempts, to help me. Our attempts at his arbitrary laws. You don't like arbitrary. Well, in fact, let me tell you. I think laws should achieve goals. I got 